Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. This video is sponsored by Ninja Bear Studio, and they've been kind enough to provide me with their incredible suite of plugins to test out and give you an honest review. Full disclosure, they said I can talk <coughs> about the plugin if I want to. So I've been on my game development journey with Unreal Engine 5, and let me tell you, Ninja Bear Studio's framework has been a complete game changer. Their plugins are all written in C++, perfect for multiplayer games, and they are fully exposed to blueprints. They also come with top-notch documentation, which is really hard for me to find in the Unreal Engine marketplace. And these guides will help you with every step of the way to make your dream game. But that's not all. With the upcoming release of Fab in mid-October, Ninja Bear Studio plans to release a completely free gameplay ability system plugin, which means you can eliminate the need for any C++ coding if you choose to. You can also use C++ to extend on any of the plugins shown in the video or create your own attribute set. You can even decide whether to have your ability system component on your character or your player state. They reached out to me to test these gas plugins and I couldn't be more thrilled. The best part is they are already battle tested in their own game development projects. They've been incredibly helpful to all community members and in my opinion, their work is seriously underrated. I love supporting amazing creators on the Unreal Engine marketplace and after diving into all their plugins, I can confidently say their C++ is exceptionally well written. I've had zero issues implementing anything that I've wanted to. They also take advantage of Unreal Engine's best practices to simplify our development process. So for example, they use view models to develop our UI really easily. I can see myself using this framework for a very long time to come. So let's briefly go over some of their standout plugins. And of course, let's start with the Ninja Combat. The Ninja Combat plugin is designed as a layer built on top of Unreal Engine's gameplay ability system. It introduces a combat domain you can use in various types of projects. So think weapons, damage systems, vitals, and more. This system provides a robust foundation covering numerous abilities, effects, and attributes, along with some other common aspects of a combat system like motion warping, projectile pooling, and physical reaction. It's an ample and advanced system built on Unreal Engine's capabilities. So in my previous videos where I go over gas tutorials, this plugin has it all ready for you to use. One thing I really like about this plugin is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel with this. You can enable these plugins into your project and start developing right away. And now let's talk about the Ninja Input. So the Ninja Input plugin is all about separating the code used to handle player input, which is captured by Unreal Engine's Enhanced Input System. For each input action, you can use many of the input handlers provided by the system or easily create your own in Blueprints or even C++. The system offers a variety of handlers out of the box, including full integration with the gameplay ability system. The Ninja Inventory plugin was inspired by concepts introduced in Epic's project Lyra, such as definitions, instances, and fragments. These concepts are powerful for an inventory system because they promote defining items through aggregation instead of the classic inheritance approach. In line with the recurring theme for all plugins from Ninja Bear Studio, this framework was designed with a strong focus on separation of concerns. Again, it's an ample and advanced system built on many of Unreal Engine's capabilities. Next up is Ninja Factions. So this plugin is designed to provide flexibility when establishing relationships between your AI teams. It introduces the concepts of factions, memberships, reputations, creating a dynamic way to determine not only how your AI reacts to perceived targets, but also how your world can react to players. You can have NPCs that can sell you items based on your reputation with a faction. So for example, if you're exalted, then you get the cheapest thing possible, kind of like you see in games like World of Warcraft. Or you can use this to simply build like a Paragon Renegade system in games that you see kind of like Mass Effect. Ninja Bear Studios also plans to release even more plugins in the future after the Gas plugin is out. Their development hasn't stopped for years and they don't plan to. I highly recommend checking them out in Discord, asking whatever questions you may have, and go through the documentation even if you don't have the plugin. I'll be making some content using the Ninja Bear Studio plugins and also going over Gas once that releases. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and say hello to me in the Ninja Bear Studios Discord.